Hi scrappy friends, Bets Golden here. I bet you're wondering why you're looking at my purse. Well today I thought it would be fun to make some purse jewelry with you. My, I've had this purse for mm, probably six or seven months. I love it, but it was just kind of blah and I wanted to just spice it up and I thought that peacocks would be a great way to do so. I have a real thing for um, purse pom-poms and purse jewelry but I was I have plenty of like pom-poms and stuff on my purses so I wanted something a little different and since this is navy I thought that the peacocks would be nice and the calico collage spring peacock is just perfect for it so I'm going to show you how to make these two little pieces and how to put together a little purse charm today so you can do that as well all right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'll put my purse down. And I'm actually gonna use the domino um, sheet from Calico Collage to do this. However, it is a little bit smaller than a domino, but the images, I was looking at some other images um, on some of the other collage pages by Calico Collage, and I just really like how these um, how these were small enough where I could kind of cut them down, whereas the other images, they were a little bit bigger, and the effect that I was going for, I wanted a little bit of a smaller image with some more detail on it, if that makes sense. So this is Calico Collage. You can reach them at www.calicocollage.com. Uh, she specializes in uh, downloadable art. It's real nice, it's beautiful. Um, and I just love her stuff. So with that being said, I'm gonna take one of these dominoes and I think I'm gonna use this end one and I'm gonna cut it out. And for this measurement, it needs to be about 0.75 by 1.25. I'm by no means am a jewelry maker, so, um, I don't have all the necessary tools that most people who dabble in jewelry do, but that's okay. I make it work. And I like the effect that the, uh, the way I'm doing it has, it did exactly what I wanted it to do. This would be great as a um, Mother's Day gift or birthday gift. Those things are right around the corner as you know. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this down. I might have to go grab my other cutter. Oh, it worked, okay. So let me make sure that's about the right width. I need to take off a little bit more. I remember it was just barely under that. So I got my other paper trimmer for this because this way I can kind of hold it on a little bit better. Let's see if that did it. Perfect. Okay, so I need to take this down to approximately 1.25. Now this part, I need to think about what part of the image I want. And I definitely know that I want that peacock feather. That's what this is all about today. It's all about the peacock feathers. And this looks beautiful against navy, turquoise, um, purple, pink, even green. I mean, there's so many purses that you could pop this on. And I need a little bit more off the bottom. Again, this is the domino set. Mm, I think that'll do it. Oh, zip dry to adhere this. Just enough to keep it down because we're going to cover it in a moment with something else. I like zip dry because it does actually um, dry fairly quickly, but it's movable for a little bit. So I'm just taking this and making sure that the edges are down really nicely. That's pretty good. 
What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some dimensional magic. This is going to give it this kind of finish so it looks like it's glass. And I am going to pop a little bit of some blue lightning glitter on it as well. I learned the hard way that it doesn't need much. So let's put it in here to avoid the mess. And it's important that you don't shake up this because it'll cause bubbles. And getting the bubbles out is not like the easiest thing in the world. I was fighting with one yesterday. I was chasing it around with my needle. I finally had to wait for it to dry just a little bit. And then I finally popped it and it, it ended up being just fine. All right, that's a pretty good coverage. It's all it needs. Again, this is Dimensional Magic by Plaid Mod Podge. That's what I did to cover it. Now I'm just gonna, now this is gonna be a little bit messy. All right, that's okay. I just need a tiny, tiny bit. I mean like this much. And I'm just sprinkling it kind of over. And that's it, that's all I want for that. And it's gonna dry and be beautiful when it's done. This needs to be set aside and we need to wait for it to dry overnight. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our next charm. And we're just gonna use this cute little bottle cap. I found this, this is by Darcy, D-A-R-I-C-E. Joann's carries this brand. I got a pack of 50. Price was $20. I used my 40% off coupon. I paid like $12 for all of it. So that's what we're gonna use today. And then a little dome. And I'm going to use, again, Calico Collage Sheet. It's her website. This is the Spring Peacock. And for this one, I think I want to use the Peacock. So the trick to punching these, and this is the bottle cap section, this is the bottle cap sheet, is to flip your one inch punch over so you can see it. You wanna eyeball it. There we go. Once again, I'm going to use my Zip Dry by Beacon to adhere it. If you just put the dome on top, it will not keep it in the bottle cap. It'll fall out on you eventually. So we don't want that, right? This is really easy. All right. So we pop some of that in there. And now we're going to go ahead. I want to make sure that my peacock is lined up well. And once again, I'm going to go ahead and just get this all situated, making sure that's all in there. Really good. Okay. So now we're going to put our dome on. This just adds that extra dimension. Um, th these are great for if you, if you don't want to take the time to have to wait for your glossy effects or your dimensional magic to dry, you can just pop on a dome if you have one. I'm sure that they have them for all different types of jewelry sizes. What I did to make this kind of special was I added some little bit of bling to, to um, to my piece. Okay, so this one's pretty much done. Okay, so I found these little um, clasp claws at Michael's. They came in a three pack. I forgot how much they were. They weren't very much though. These are fantastic because they can go on your purses or they can actually be used as a keychain. So whatever you want to use them for, you can. Then I found these peacock feathers and a lot of people will do stuff with them. They will cut them or fluff them and I don't want it to be cut or fluffed. I want it to lay flat because it's going to be on a purse. So the first thing you do is we put our peacock feather on. Simple as that. Then we're gonna go ahead and put our bottle cap on. Okay, 
tape. And then last but not least, we are going to put on our other little charm. So here is our little purse charm and it's ready to bling out a purse. Let me show you another one I did with a different type of charm. If you're really into the pom-poms, this is the pom-pom one. And I basically put uh, the rectangle, I took apart one of these clasps and I just put it on there and then I put that on the key ring and this is really cute too. So these are some purse charms that you can make for your purse to give as gifts or keep as yourself for yourself and decorate up um, your purses, make them all snazzy and uh, chic. So these are the purse charms that you can make using bottle caps and domino sheets, the digital downloads from Cal Calico Collage. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in my comments. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and supporting and following. If you haven't subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, please go ahead and do so and share this video with anyone you know that loves their purse charms and looking fashionable. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye.